Hey divas, so if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, I'm about to tell you something that you definitely already know, but if you're new here, we have a little theme going where I like to play games that I grew up watching people play, but I never got to play myself because I didn't have a computer and I was like 12. But now that I'm the ancient, decrepit age of 21, I can finally play these games for myself. And today we're playing 60 Seconds, which I literally forgot about this game completely until like two days ago. So let's get into it quickly. I don't know why I'm a little bit nervous, yo, because... <laughs> I did not expect that and it scared me. Okay, we're gonna do, we're doing Apocalypse, bro. I just don't care. We're gonna be tied because like, I don't care. Fat man, we'll do medium. We'll do medium. It's, it's my first time. We'll be chill about it. Oh my God, I'm nervous. <laughs> I have to lock in. Hold on, let me lock in. Okay. Yo, I'm shaking. I'm literally shivering. I don't know why. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Hello? What do I, how do I select? Hello? Hello? Oh, it, it didn't start yet. I'm screaming. I thought I could pick this up. Okay, I guess not. Give me this water. Thank you. That's the door to leave. Y'all, I'm fumbling the bag hard. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving what's-her-face here. A MJ, Michael Jackson. I'm leaving Michael Jackson here because, sorry, girl, but she be eating too much. And, like, no offense to her or anything, but, like, girl, we don't have time for that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't lie. Why did I only grab one thing? Oh my god, med kit, 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 what's in here? Nothing crazy. Oh, the harmonica. We need that, I think. Oh my god, okay, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. That was stressful, but I feel like that was a good scab. I can't lie, I think that was a good scab, y'all. I think it was decent enough. What could I have forgotten? Oh, gas mask. Yo. I didn't get a gas mask. Yo, this sucks bad. This scab sucks. <laughs> yo, I fumbled the bag. This is terrible. Hey, yo, we got cards though, straight off the bat. We got three cans of soup and mad water. I don't even remember grabbing mad water. We let the kids eat the dust because F them kids. The reason I remember this game exists is because I watched Queso play it on his like, his like world record, like sixth place run the other day. We fumbled with the no gas mask because now we have to wait mad long to scav, which sucks. Where is water when Ted needs it? Dolores can't- Y'all, come on. Try to like ration your spit or something, mama. Cause we might have a lot of water, but girl, that's gonna go down quickly. All right, what? This is insane. We keep finding spiders. They're in our soup. They're in our water. So there's something coming back later. Mama, no, we're not using our med kit on spiders. You gotta be straight stupid to be doing all that. We got rid of the spiders with our bare hands. <laughs> Just let the spiders free roam, dude. It's the apocky. Um, the area is still irritated. Oh, uh, I don't want to waste our med kit though, so I'm not gonna let them go to be sick, you know? We're gonna try to make it to day 100. My first ever time playing this game, my first ever run, my first ever scavenge, we're making it to day 100. I'm telling y'all right now, I can feel it in my bones. Is is. Ted's really tired. All right, go to sleep. Like, I'm not stopping you. Wondering about the other door in the shelter. Should it even be here? Where does it lead? It's high time we checked it out. Should we go? I feel like we're gonna break our gun. Like, that's a waste. Like, we're not shooting up a doorway. You know what I mean? Come on, let's think critically here. Ted's still tired. Go to sleep on your own time. Oh my God. Dolores would really love to eat something. I would really love for Dolores to shut up. How about that? Dolores, if you want to eat something so bad, you can go outside and go kill a rat. Yeah, y'all aren't even like dehydrated or like on your deathbed yet. Let's wait until that happens. Damn, still no gas mask. And they're too tired to even go out. Y'all, come on. Dolores is looking raggedy, girl. I can't lie. Ooh. Girl, there's no brushes in this shelter. I'm sorry. Dolores is tired and can't seem to sleep it off. You have nothing else to do, bro. You literally have nothing else to do besides go to sleep. Because Lord knows I'm not feeding you, so it's not like you're munching and crunching. Just go to bed. Head stomach is rumbling. Okay. Dehydration. Okay, damn, chill. Dehydration and starvation. Okay, fine, I'll feed you. No, bitch, you're not eating, Ted. Deal with it. We were interrupted by a rapid knocking. It was a group of refugees who survived the blast. They were doing much worse than us and begged us for bread. Do you think they could help us in the future? Like, low-key, I'm not trying to be charitable. But I'm gonna be charitable for selfish reasons and give them some water. Just in case it, they come back around with an insane clutch later. Just in case. Okay, what's up? We got a video! That was a steal. That was a steal. Are you kidding me? How are they out? Okay, we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh air. 
Y'all stupid. We discovered a small suitcase. There was a note on it. And anyway, should we take a look inside? No. I feel like it could either go one or two ways. There could be something in there or our shit's gonna get blown up. And I don't really like, I don't really trust that. I'm not trying to get blasted on day 10. Ted has rested. Do we send Ted out? Cause I don't really care if Ted shits the bed. We only need one of them to go all the way. You know what I mean? Developed a nasty cough and had trouble breathing. But it got better in the morning. Okay, period. So why are you telling me about it? <clears throat> Dolores just won't go to sleep. I don't understand the logistics of that. Mama, go to sleep. We're gonna send Ted. What should we send him with? Should we send him with nothing? Should we make him raw dog it? Actually, let's send him with the cards. Well, yeah, let's send him with the cards. Cause maybe he can like trade them for something, you know? And we got the cards for free anyway, so I'm not like stressed about the cards. Honestly, Loki, I'm glad I, I at least know what this game is about. Like I know, like I've seen people play it enough to like know what to do. Cause if that wasn't the case, so I'm not going in blind. It's my first time playing, but I'm not gonna be blind about it. But if that were the case, this game is really confusing. And it's a lot of reading. And I don't mess with that. Like in a game, like I don't wanna be reading. Like, I don't want essays, you know, unless there's like someone reading to me. Like give me a voice actor, give me something. Reading a whole Bible verse every single day in a video game is absolutely out of control crazy. The military is out there and they're coming for us. Okay, well maybe we can get rescued by the military. We suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We forget the phone booth. Should someone go answer it? Should we answer it or is that a dumb idea? We're not gonna do that. We were friends with everybody in the town. Old Man Jim is such a joker. It appears that he survived the blast since he's at our door right now asking if we want to buy a rock. Buy a rock? Is this man like senile? Like can we trust him or is he like losing it like on his way out? Can we buy the rock? No, we have to wait. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna wait for Ted to come back to do anything like weird because one of us needs to live, right? And so if he comes back and we can make him do that kind of stupid garbage, like buying rocks and shit. Like we can make him do that. So like if he dies, he dies. Oh. Well, it appears that he is now an apparition. Unfortunately, Ted did not make it and he also lost our cards. What a dumb bitch. Anyways, we'll move on. This should be good, right? Starvation? Girl, please stop. Uh, start eating the hair off your head or something. She's chilling though. Look at her. She's like, she looks like better than she did before. Before she was looking really like scraggly and messed up. Now she's kind of like big chilling. Look at her posted. She don't even care that her husband died. She's like, good riddance. She would love to eat something. Well, that's too damn bad. Someone started a fire and it's already spreading. We can't lose, we can't lose the first aid kit. Dolores, I, I hate you right now. We can't lose the first aid kit. We were supposed to choose what we wanted to save, not what we wanted to put the fire out with. Oh my, oh, oh. Have you ever seen a bag be fumbled as hard as I just fumbled that bag? That was downright and just embarrassing. Can I just send her outside? Yeah, tomorrow you're going. Oh my God. I'm literally, so, I thought we were choosing what we wanted to like let go. Oh my God, she looks like a zombie. Oh my God. Are you joking right now? He turned into the walking dead, bro. And we just, yo, and we just used our med kit and I can't even cure her. And if I clicked correctly, she would be fine. She didn't even, we didn't, we, we, all we did was pack. We didn't even ship her out yet. Bro just got sick from sitting there. Like, is this real life? And now we can't send her outside. And I was just complimenting how like great she looked. I take that shit back. Starvation. Okay, well, screw you. Dolores would really love to eat something. Well, I would love for Dolores to lock in and not be sick anymore. How about that? The phone's ringing again. Should we answer? The phone's ringing again. Should we just answer? I mean, like, at this point, like, screw it. What if she croaks, though? Dolores, don't piss me off. Day 26. Big chillin'. Who was it, girl? Survivors from a nearby town. We started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong. We hope they can get... Bro, they were probably being held for ransom by the bandits and the bandits were probably like hey girl 
call this girl so we can get her stuff and also beat her to death and we'll set you free that's probably what happened girl because that's suspicious as all hell what is this now we cannot afford that i'm sorry but you can kick rocks it was a sleazy looking man who would give us a sack of mysteries or whatever for a can of soup mama we only got a can and a half left i don't care about your bag of mysteries we'll wait one more day and then we have to send her because we're out of food do we think we'll make it to 100 i'm still feeling like we can do it some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. Remember him from before the apocalypse? He came over with a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join the Astro Citizen. Oh my god, not the Church of Scientology promo. Now he just wants supplies and he says he will reveal some state secret to us in return. How about you kiss my ass in return? How about that? Wait, what is this? Is this we have to do? Oh, is this how we, like, escape? I want it. That scared the shit out of me, I can't lie. We, literally, we can. We can just sit around because that's all we can do. I don't know what you want from me right now. Girl, Saturn Earth should play an instrument takes over us to create a singing play. You know what? Go ahead. And she dies from this. What are these? What are these rodents? I mean, roaches? Why are there roaches? Glowing roaches? Oh my god, we called the roaches with our harmonica. This is just ridiculous. Oh yeah, you're gonna stay thirsty because you pissed me off. We're almost halfway to 100. I think we need a miracle. It's literally all of our issues right now is because I fumbled the bag with the med kit. If I didn't fumble that bag, we would have been chilling. Funky roaches haven't left. Just this morning when we opened our eyes, we saw them standing in a perfect line right in front of us as if they're waiting for something. You know what? Sure. Let's just keep, let's just keep playing the harmonica for the roaches. Why not? They're only friends at this point. Oh, and they're gone. Period. We must be really bad at playing the harmonica. Ooh. The roaches? brought us soup and water the mama the roaches the legitimate radioactive roaches on the floor are y'all hearing this they soon came back in a group carrying supplies on their strong mutated backs insane looked like we made some new friends disgusting mutated radioactive friends okay no need to gag them by the way because they just saved our life basically so don't be calling them disgusting <laughs> a little messed up you know what i mean we must have insane aura or something because that's crazy where did they even find it from bro they got a own personal stash is it shit like ratatouille they got their own like home underneath where they're like making food and and, and doing backflips and stuff we don't have to send her outside now at least the roaches came clutch i've never been clutched by a roach man this water is so good dolores you want some that's too bad <laughs> Come on, Dolores, be better, please. I've been waiting this whole time. Dumb zombie idiot. <laughs> You're a dumb zombie idiot, by the way. We had roaches bring you food, girl. You've been sick for two weeks, but you're inside, so there's like nothing affecting your sickness. Just be better. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's getting embarrassing at this point. A young woman, dressed in white, knocked on our door, telling us the story of her missing twin brother. He tried to defeat a bandit leader, and his sister feared something might have happened. She claims to know that we're good and trustworthy people, and how? How do you know that? Girl, you been stalking us? Did you did you tap the bunker? Should we just do it? Bitch, we got nothing to lose. This bitch is sick anyways. Honestly, the bandit might murk us both, but we'll see what happens. A few moments later. It was a successful mission, period. But now the bandits are probably going to be on our ass. The siblings thanked us a hundred times and said they would definitely contact us again. Don't thank me. Give me a med kit, bro. I saved your sorry, stupid, idiotic brother who thought he could 1v10 the bandits like a dummy. Imagine if we had the children with us and how much they'd be eating. Thank God we left them up there to rot, to be honest. The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. He came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry men enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor. Mama, I am the poor. What are you taking from me? I am the whore. <laughs> Not her hacking up a bone. <gasps> Bro. If Ted's stupid ass didn't die with the cards, we could have given them the cards. <laughs> oh, we got some Morse code. You know what I bet it's saying? Dolores, you're such an idiot. Why are you sick? Get your act together quickly. Because you're pissing me off. I bet that's what it said, by the way. I don't speak Morse code, but if I did, that's what it would say. Honestly, I can't lie, we're doing pretty good for someone who fumbled the scavenge and also wasted our med kit. 
Like, we're honestly not doing too bad, I can't lie. Dolores, you're stupid. I hate you. You're sick in the head and physically. Why the hell are you green? And not this sleazy man again. You nasty, dirty bum with his gross mystery bag. Like, mama, no. Get lost. Okay, we're gonna feed her and water her because we're sending her, y'all. We're sending her. I'm nervous. I can't lie. I'm really nervous. Dolores, please, 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 please. Dolores, don't piss me off right now. I swear to God, we want to make it to 100. Is it a bad idea? Dolores. No, 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 Dolores, 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 please. Girl, what did you bring back? Mama. I hope you're hungry. For nothing. Why did you bring not- She brought back a flashlight. Y'all can't see it because my fat head's in the way, but she brought back a flashlight, but no food and no water. Oh wait, maybe she did bring back water. Hold on. One bottle of water. One This bitch said, every room was stocked with water bottles for guests. Every single room was stocked with water bottles and you brought back one. Oh my God. You know what? You know what? He lived. She lived. We're about to run it. We're about to starve to death. But you know what? She lived. So I'm gonna take it. We heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. We only had a moment to decide what to do. Shoot it or use our flashlight to scare it off. I don't want to break the gun. Whatever. We'll use our new flashlight. Hopefully we don't lose it already because I'll be pissed. Oh, it was a dog. It's actually cute. It's a little doggy starvation girl you better get used to it you better get used to it we found a cat licking its paws surrounded by blood and dismembered limbs awesome as we made our way back to the shelter the cat followed we can now hear its paws impatiently scratching our hatch should we let the little kitty itty bitty inside normally i would say yes because i love cats however i cannot feed this cat hungry thirsty fatigued tired sick girl what's not wrong with you at this point Please be, please be, please be not sick though. Diseased? Oh, she's critically diseased. I didn't even think that was possible. You're critically diseased, girl. Can we break the radio? What disease do you suffer from? Idiot disease? How do you break a radio, girl? How do you bring back a flashlight and checkers and then also break a radio? Bro, you're suffering from dummy disease. This is ridiculous. Oh, you're actually useless. We we genuinely need a miracle in this moment. The twins contacted us again. Girl, we saved your life. We saved that man's life and now you want our map and you haven't give us, given us anything in return? Well, I'm sick and dying of idiot disease. The dog is hungry. Dog's gotta stay hungry. That dog can go eat that cat. Hey, whoa, whoa, who said that? Who said that? I'm about to eat the cat. Oh. Dolores, no! Y'all, I fumbled bad. Hey. First run ever. One scab. 68 days. That's not too bad. Honestly, that's not too bad. I think my prior knowledge from watching people play this game religiously and watching Queso play the other day carried me very hard because you know what? Actually, it really didn't, though, because I still fumbled the bag, like, three times. Like, did y'all see my scab? That was embarrassing. That was the most embarrassing scab ever. If y'all want to see me play this game again, we'll try to hit the hundo mark. We'll try to go further. We'll try to get an actual, like, rescue ending, because I feel like I was close to being saved until Dolores decided she wanted to be an idiot and she brought back flashlight and checkers instead of food and then went to a place with bad water in a hotel and only brought back one bottle of water dolores fumbled that bag that was not me anyways thanks for watching bye